What's up everybody? Welcome to the channel. My name is Johan Bester, vocal coach here in Johannesburg, South Africa. And thank you for clicking on the link. If this is your first time, welcome, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, I really appreciate your support so much. And by the way, more than half the people who watch videos on my channel are not subscribers. So why don't you do that? It'll really help me to keep doing the work that we do. And I'd really appreciate it. So this guy, Blake Pruel, um, came and did an audition for American Idol this year, obviously. And uh, it's an interesting story because he used to be an NFL player. Um, and we talk about it all the time, you know, the story behind the people and how, you know, the American Idol producers make such a big deal of the backstory. And it annoys some people. But I like it because, um, like I've said in other, at other times, um, when I discover a new artist, I anyway will go and look them up and see where they're from and what's their story and how did they get to be where they are, etc. So what Idol does is they tell us the story so we don't have to go and find out for ourselves. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm keen to hear what this sounds like. Um, let's see. I'm Nana. Nana. It's nice no, to have no. a close relationship with yeah, Grandma. For sure. My name is Blake Prohl. I'm 24 years Prohl. old, and I'm from Charlotte, North Carolina. I know everything that has happened has prepared you for this moment. Come a long way, babe. Long yeah. way. All right, incoming. Howdy. Hello. How are you? I'm a little anxious. I'm not used to this at all, so. What I'm do very, you mean? very excited, though, I promise. What are you used to? Um. How long did you play in the NFL? About three years. Just what position? A uh, wide receiver. My dad played in the league for about 17 years, and I grew up and kind of dedicated everything I know to football. And my dream was to make it to the NFL. I uh, signed with the Minnesota Vikings. Whoa. And so how did you end up here from there? I went through a really tough injury. and so What happened to you? Um, I tore a bunch of stuff. I don't want to get graphic. They just said, hey, like, it'll be a success story if you're able to just, like, run again in general. The story. That was definitely the toughest time, for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I just want to quickly stop and say <clears throat> they do it, the producers, they do it in a way that will evoke emotion, obviously. And we all know that when they stand there in front of those idle lights there in that shot, they're going to cry. <laughs> but it's real. It's real. It's the truth. I mean, very few of us know what it's like to be a professional sportsman. And he said his dad played for 17 years and he grew up in it. And it was his goal, was his dream, was his lifelong dream to play. And so he played and then this injury comes that basically seems like brings an end to the dream. That's huge. And any person who overcomes something like that, I have huge respect for. So again, I like hearing the story. This tells me something. This informs me about this person before I even hear him sing. So. Cool. But we're here now, so. We're here now. I wasn't able to walk for so long. That's wow. where music kind of came in and saved me. My grandma is the reason why I'm here. I really didn't believe in myself at all music-wise, and she's the reason why I have any confidence at all to be in this room. Do you like singing around her or for her? Yeah, yeah. So I um, started playing and learning, and I, I pranked her, and the Playing video kind of went like viral. No, you might have to play the piano. Can you? This is for the show. <laughs> She's got a southern accent, so she was like, Blake! <laughs> and you know, I was like, it was really funny. I so. want to hear what she sounds like. Bring her in. OK. Here comes Nana. There's Nana. He's got to be. Come on in. Hey, Nana's cool. Come on Get in. ready for Nana. She's Say very cool. Come on in, Nana. Oh, there you go. Goodness. This is Nana. Hey, y'all. Oh, 
Yeah. If you could rewind into that first time I did it, and then you could look into the future and say, hey, we're gonna be on American Idol doing this exact moment, it's really crazy to me. I can't count the times I almost said what's on my mind, but I didn't. No, I didn't. I just didn't. And just the other day, I wrote down all the Katie. things I'd say, but I couldn't. I just couldn't. One of the things that I've been feeling. It's my cheeks now. Mm, it's time you hear it. In case you didn't know, baby, I'm crazy about you. And I would be lying if I said that I could live this life without you Even though hmm. I don't tell you all the time You had my heart a long, long time ago In case you didn't know I'm crazy about you and I would be lying if I said that I could live this life without you Even though I don't tell you all the time You had my heart a long, long time ago Yeah, you had my heart a long, long time ago In case you didn't know Oh no, in case you didn't know, <laughs> in case you didn't know. <laughs> very good. Okay. Yeah, so very um, natural, uncomplicated, light pop voice um, and way of singing. So it sounds like he said he started in the lockdowns, he started really learning to play. And I mean, in the clip, the clip that he says went viral, his grandma said, when he said, can I play the piano? And she said, can you? So it was a surprise to her. So clearly um, it was a new thing in his life after his injury and during the lockdowns to start to learn how to play. So if that's the case, then he learned how to play in a very short time. And probably also learned how to sing this way in a very short time. And if that is the case, then this is quite impressive. Um, it also is clear to me that the muscles that produce the sound, the vocal folds and all this area around here, um, are not as developed <clears throat> as somebody at 24 who maybe have done it since they were seven as many of the contestants, you know, that's their story. Um, so it's not such a developed instrument. Yet, he sings all those little riffs with apparent ease and such a natural way that he does it. So there was nothing about his sound or his performance, the way he, the way he used his voice, that made me feel, oh, that was put on, or that was too much, or he's trying to show off, or whatever. It felt like it was all very organic and very real, the sound that he made. Yet he doesn't sound like a train singer. I don't know, it's, it sounds like a paradox, but I hope you understand what I'm saying. Um, what I think what connected with me, and it seems like with the judges, is that a raw innocent, uncomplicated way of delivering the song. Um, it really feels like the song is connected to his heart. Don't know, maybe he's been through something, you know, a breakup or something. Um, but yeah, it was just so, sort of stripped away. His piano playing also, you can hear, is, is fine. Um, but it's, it's like the, the playing of a very musically gifted person who recently started playing. I think that's the best way for me to describe it. Also, his singing. Definitely, there's strong musical gifting in him, um, even though it's not yet as developed as it hopefully could become during this competition. 
So let's see what the judges said about it. Oh. Here comes Katie. Just sign right here. Yeah. <laughs> Your autograph. Wait, yeah, there you go. Okay. Oh, yeah. You're not okay. allowed to leave right. this show. <laughs> Isn't it good? Listen. <laughs> Ain't it no, a lot of says Nana. That, was, that was crazy. Listen, every grandma thinks that their grandchildren are great, but you're right! <laughs> let's go. All right, let's get serious about okay, this, because this is something to get serious that. about. I can do that. If you will allow us to be your coaches, <laughs> you're going to be... You're gonna be just Top fine. Top 10. You're gonna be just fine. <laughs> Another you top just 10. You did that song the right way in a very believable way, yeah, in a very agreed. innocent, vulnerable, hmm. like every girl that you sit down and sing <sighs> that to, they're gonna Hang be on. melted butter, kind of like this one a minute ago. <laughs> <laughs> but it was just a real moment. I wrote one thing down here that stood out, natural. Yeah. It's just one of those things that either you have it or you don't. I agree. And in this case, my friend, you have, Blake, you have stepped into a, that oval with... Thank you, I appreciate ...with guts that. and gusto. Yes, sir. That pair of ears right there, <laughs> you listen to her from now on, you hear me? Yes, sir. Because that's your beacon. Somebody's waiting to find out what's been going on in here. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. So I agree with Luke. I agree with Lionel. Um, I don't agree with Katie. She says, in my opinion, way too easily top 10. I don't know. Who am I to say? She's been there for a long time. Um, it's possible. You know, we've, we've, we've seen um, handsome young men performing these kinds of shows, The Voice as well as Idols, and do super well. Partly, I'm not saying... They, they can't perform well and sing well, but partly because most voters are female voters and they just, they adore them. They love them and looking at them. And, and so they get lots of votes based on how they make people feel. <laughs> Not always on how exceptional their singing or their performances are. But anyway, I'm happy for him. He seems like an authentic guy. His story feels really real to me and emotional. And um, it was clearly was a massive thing for him to go from a life, a lifelong um, dedication, focus, all his focus on a certain sport changed in a moment. And now he's finding himself in this totally new place. So I salute him for being so brave and for pushing through with this and um i like him and i hope he does well so we'll see thank you for spending the time with me until next time please take care of yourself just before you go let me just remind you that you can actually book a session with me a one-on-one -on -one through my patreon you can go there and check it out um, or you can send me a message through the website and then also if you want to chat with me why not visit our Discord server? The links to all of that is in the description below.